Nation Hayden Smith, a young gifted designer and founder of a community project which inspires and empowers young people to believe that anyone anywhere can transform outside spaces. Gardens can be any place that has the potential to put green in it, whether it's a park or a community space or a space that needs a climber growing up a wall. As a semi-professional footballer and a switched-on horticulturist, his goal is to empower everyone to reap the benefits of the great outdoors. My gardens are bold and brave um, and I hope to inspire other people to take control and, and ownership of their outdoor spaces. I live just below Grenfell Tower and no one in the community really knew how to react. Um, and myself and my family, we started greening up community spaces in, in the area and, and wanted to reflect how um, beautiful our space was and give a bit of hope. I'm so proud of my community for the way that we've reacted to such a disaster. It was just a space where people came by and shared a smile with us, shared a conversation. And it was a catalyst for social kind of spaces and I thought that was so beautiful and it's something that I really wanted to continue. Gardens have been like this kind of aesthetically pleasing but exclusively that. Yes. And I think actually they need to have a purpose and a function. So shall we have a look at a few of the challenges of the garden? Well, I like to think of front gardens as your kind of spot to show off. It's kind of framing the building, isn't it? Your centre. It is. And uh, actually this doesn't frame it too well, especially with the path. You want it, your eye to kind of be led in different directions. What I've done here is I've created some kind of communal seating areas and that will be immersed in medicinal plants and pollinators. It's really fitting for this space because it's all about therapy, it's all about uh, well-being. I've never called myself a gardener, but I've always felt inspired by nature and that's kind of my roots. I definitely think a thousand pounds is a decent amount to work with on this garden. Okay, good. So, shall we have a look at yes, what we've got? Yes, please, yeah. yeah. <gasps> oh, oh, wow. My word. Wow, Tasha. <laughs> So in such a small space, I've kind of had to use a lot of the height to, to create interest. Okay. So the idea of this is it kind of leads it right in different directions. Oh. And so you're not, there's not just one focal point of the garden. Mm. It's kind of immersive. Growing up, I didn't have much access to, to green space. And the only reason I did was because my mum was, you know, passionate about it. It was always a, a basil, you know, herb box on the table, throwing it into our pasta or in our garden. We grew an avocado tree from seed, a banana tree, you know, I bought from my school fair. I mean, it was a garden that was maybe this size, but we packed a lot into it, and that was kind of my education growing up. Hello, I'm Tayshan Hayden-Smith, founder of Grow to Know, a non-profit all about reclaiming space and reconnecting people with nature and each other. We're here to celebrate Peter Rabbit's 120th birthday, and we're on a mission to get people out gardening during National Children's Gardening Week. 